friends. It's good to have you here. Welcome to Sunday Eucharist with Prince of Peace. Those of you who are joining us on Zoom, welcome. It's good to know you're here. And we want you to know that we do think of you and remember you through Eucharist. If you'd like to ever get a copy of the liturgy, you can reach out to us. And um, we do like to pray together. So with the Zoom room echoes, that could mean some happy cacophony. So. <laughs> so welcome, and our very own Lori is going to be presiding today. Okay. Okay. We're ready, David. All right. And today is September 13th, the year 2020. Um, blessed are you, O God, creator of the universe. That your word, your word energy, energy bursts burst 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 into, into existence and comes to us as light. light. You create day and night. You roll away light before the darkness. And the darkness, the darkness, the darkness is before the light. light. Blessed, Blessed are you, O oh God. <laughs> for you bring your light to our world. For you bring on the evening twilight. In the name of Abba, God, our creator, and of Jesus, our liberator, and the spirit who is holy. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with you. you. Almighty and ancient God, you are ever present and you are our light. It is through you and with you that we are many lights within your brilliant creation. You call us to be warm by the fire of the Holy Spirit. You call on us to be loving and forgiving, forgiving as wisdom is shown in our lives with an ever ending, never ending flame. flame. We have come together as a community to welcome your spirit and to praise you for the many and varied gifts your children hold within themselves. Gifts that, as within a circle, come back to you and your church. You are light, you are light, you are, light. Light. You are, light. You are wisdom. wisdom. This beautiful day may all be welcome in the name of the three in one. Coming together as God's family, let us confess all that prevents true harmony. The times when we have lost our way, the wounding times when we have caused division, the cold times of our love. So may we find peace with each other, peace with the world, and peace with God. O oh God, we have looked away from you and looked to ourselves. We confess that no one separates us from you from and from each other and from the world. In faith, we return to you that we may grow in love, be generous and forgiveness, and welcome you to the which you offer. Great spirit of compassion, you accept and welcome us as we are, with our light and our shadow. Yet you also call us to the fullness of life in you. May, May we, we know, know the forgiveness, forgiveness that frees us, the courage that frees our responsibilities, the truth that frees us from ignorance, and the love that heals. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have Christ mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Lord, mercy. Have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to God is on earth. Sovereign God, the ruler of all the gods, the God of the creator, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you, we praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, Abba's first child, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, Lord, send the light of the light hand of the creator, receive our prayer, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You are you alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You alone are the 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 Lord. With the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.
Come, God of the poor. Come, light of our hearts. Come, voice of the silence. Come, generous spirit. By, by the glory of the creation around us, by the comfort of your presence within us, by the wind of your spirit here now in this place, um, today we begin our Liturgy of the Word with Prince of Peace tradition, Semitic languages, and Greek for the week. So we're going to start with the Greek and then um, head over to the Semitic language, ancient language. So uh, there's a lot going on in our gospel today that's a lot of fun in the Greek to look at. But today we're going to look at the word Afiemi, Afiemi, I should say, I'm sorry. And I believe in most translations in our of our gospel, they translate it here as the word to forgive. According to um, the Walter Bowers lexicon, Tommy Lee is a scholar, so I mentioned the source. Um, there are multiple levels of this word. And when I meet the Gospel of Matthew in Greek, I'm often startled by the word because my first exposure to it was in praying the Lord's Prayer. So I think of it as forgive. But actually, the primary meaning is simply to let go, as in send away, release, or dismiss, like Jesus aphiemes the clouds. You're dismissed, move along. Um, it can also mean to cancel, remit, or pardon. The next meaning is to leave, as in depart. Jesus quits the place. Um, it could also mean to abandon or neglect something. In Matthew 23, by the way, Matthew uses all these meanings. In Matthew 23, uh, Jesus accuses the um, Pharisees of aphiemes of abandoning or neglecting the deeper meaning of the law. And finally, it has the positive meaning of to allow, to permit, to let go, or tolerate. For example, in uh, Matthew chapter 7, when one person says to another, would you allow me to please take that speck out of your eye, even with my smile, <laughs> even with my head? The, um, the request is, will you affiemi me to allow me to do this? So there are multiple meanings of the word, and it's a very common one. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. You're good. <laughs> so the Old Testament uh, reading for today is from the book of uh, Sirach, which is also called uh, The Wisdom of Ben Sera, and sometimes called uh, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, that name is taken from its title in the many uh, uh, Latin Vulgate ma manuscripts. It's also uh, uh, what it's called in the Jerusalem Bible as well as the New English Bible, but it is to be distinguished from another book of the Bible called Ecclesiastes. Part of the reason for the confusion is that none of the existing Hebrew manuscripts that he ha we have uh, contain the first chapter that be belongs in general to a group of books called Apocrypha by the uh, Jews and Protestants and Deuterocanonical by Catholics. At uh, 51 chapters, it's one of the longest uh, books in the Bible. So I have a sentimental personal connection with this uh, Old T Testament book and the translation in particular. I use the Anchor Bible series of uh, tr Old Testament translations for my study Bible. And it so happens that the uh, translation for this book was done by none other than my old uh, professor of uh, uh, Hebrew at uh, Catholic University, uh, Monsignor Patrick Skian, in the uh, academic year uh, 1959 to 60. So Monsignor Skian was commissioned to do the translation in 1977, and he completed it in 1980, which was uh, just uh, a few weeks before he died. So this book of Sirach is one of my my old my favorite Old Testament books, being part of a, the wisdom literature of the Old Testament. Uh, you can put it together with Proverbs, the previously mentioned Ecclesiastes, and 
the wisdom of Solomon and, and some of the Psalms. I like proverb uh, literature in, in general because it contains you know, the collected and accumulated wisdom of an entire people. But when I study a new language, some of the things I go in for uh, very quickly are the, the proverbs. So the book of Sirach covers a wide range of topics dealing with mor morality, and they're in no particular order. Today's short reading from the last verse of chapter 27 to uh, uh, verse 7 of chapter 28, uh, uh, for instance, uh, covers such sub subjects as uh, anger and vengeance, as well as forgiveness. Now, the forgiveness of others is connected with forgiveness from the Lord, just as it is in, uh, in the Lord's Prayer. And I want to point out that so the poetic style of the original Hebrew uh, language of the book contains features typical of uh, ancient Semitic uh, literature. Just reviewing these, uh, thoughts are given in doublets that we're so familiar with reading uh, Old Testament uh, literature aside from narratives. That is, a statement can be followed by uh, a restatement of the thought, and sometimes it's followed by a negation of the opposite. And you'll see that in some of the uh, proverb uh, uh, literature. So this is by way of reinforcing a thought, uh, which they do by repetition, rather than the way we do it in some Western languages. We, we use intensifying ad, uh, adverbs and adjectives to reinforce the thought. Uh, they use repetition. And these repetitions, they're joined by coordination rather than subordination, which we have a lot of in uh, Western languages. So with that, I'll, I'll start the, uh, uh, the reading. And you can look for some of those features actually in this reading. It's from uh, chapter uh, 27 of the book of Sirach, verse 30 to chapter 28, verse 7. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sin in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook false. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response story of Psalm today is excerpts from Psalm 103. And the response, I've just shortened it for us because it's a lot to remember is the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord, the Lord is kind and merciful. merciful. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your inequities. Heals all your ills, redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us nor does he requite us to according to our crimes. The, the Lord, Lord is kind and merciful. For all the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing in his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions 
from us. The second reading is from Romans 14, 7 through 9. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and so no one dies for oneself, or so, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Thanks. Uh, this is God's holy word. Thanks. 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 The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. The teachings of Jesus Christ. As recorded by Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. This is the gospel of the risen Christ. Glory and praise, 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 praise to our Savior, Jesus Christ. History is often a weapon of mass destruction. We bear the burden of violence from the past into the future. When I was studying history, it often seemed that the driving force of history was vengeance. One war would trigger the next war in an attempt to recover honor. Um, instead of wishing to restore balance, the idea of making it right was perverted to the desire to get even. So we become history's prisoners and thralls. This is the sin of the world that Jesus came to free us from. Jesus liberates us from bearing the mark of Cain, and Jesus shows himself to be the model in whose image we're created and have our being. And how is this shown most profoundly? It's shown on the cross where he says, Father, forgive them. It's this act and these words that give us the power to be liberated from history. This is how the Lamb of God takes away the sin of the world. He stepped into our history. He absorbed it and triumphed over it. This is the achievement of the eschaton. And it's done by the act of forgiveness. 
in the gospel this Sunday, Jesus tells us how to carry this through our own lives and our own history on a personal level. He tells us that we must forgive absolutely and without limit as he's going to do on a cosmic level on the cross. And if we want to live a life free from the burden of our own personal history and empowered to achieve our own eschaton, we must do this. But I confess that I find this very daunting. Um, sometimes I find that I can't quite say I forgive you. And when that happens, I say what Jesus said on the cross, Father, forgive them. We know that to find forgiveness ourselves, we have to forgive and that's not because God isn't forgiving. Well, God is unchanging. God doesn't pass from one state to another. God doesn't react to us. God has forgiven us even before we sin. But to receive the forgiveness, we have to have a soft heart. And an unforgiving heart is a hard heart. So we can't absorb the forgiveness. Now, if we don't feel forgiving, it doesn't necessarily mean we aren't. Because forgiveness is not an emotion. It's an act of the will. It's a choice. And we mustn't take, uh, mistake trauma as a refusal to, to forgive. Someone can injure us in a lasting way, and we can bear that injury through our whole life. But we can still forgive the person and will for them all the good that God wills for them, even if we might need to avoid them. I knew someone like that once. Um, she did me great and long lasting harm. I managed to get away from her and live my life, but every time I saw her, I got a stomach cramp, really. Um, so um, one day she invited me to her retirement luncheon and I just couldn't stand the thought of going. And I, I felt guilty because I thought, I thought I forgave her, you know? So I talked to a friend of mine about it and, and he was, a person of great good sense. And he said to me, do you think it's a good idea to eat lunch with someone who gives you stomach cramps? <laughs> and so, so, you know, I, my conscience was settled and, and uh, I was able to send regrets with a clear conscience. Uh, but here's what I believe. I think one day we're going to meet all these people in heaven and they'll be everything God made them to be. And so will we and we'll laugh, we will embrace, and we'll love one another. That's my homily. Wow. I had a lot more to say. I tried, I tried to whittle it down. <laughs> okay, talk. <laughs> this one is... It kind of convicts me. I have a certain person in our family that I can't think of without getting all that righteous indignation built up, which I have no right to, but it's it's emotions, like you said. This yeah, person right. sent me back to four years old, and I do the same to her. And yeah. so it's not fun for us, so we can't be together. I've had to decide we can't be together anymore. That's okay. It's but not God a sin. Is still softening my heart toward the person mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and working on me about it. So. As long as you want to, I you're do. doing it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, it's trauma. And our emotions are basically just chemicals. You know, it's, and you're, they have about as much moral value in themselves as the weather. <laughs> so, That's great. Really, yeah, it's true. I mean, it's what you do about them, of course. It's what you do about them, of course, where, where the, you know, yeah. the moral value comes in. But just what you feel, you know, uh, if you eat something and get sick and throw up, it's not a sin. If you <laughs> get traumatized by somebody emotionally and carry that, that sickness kind of from that, it's not a sin, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. As long as you keep wanting to be forgiving. Yeah. And don't, no, I'm encouraged that one of the meanings of the word afiemi, afiemi is to depart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's, sometimes that's the only thing you can do yeah. uh, 
as the act of forgiveness is to, to walk. <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 Um, I had an yes, interesting yes. I had an interesting situation years ago. When I was in grammar school, there was a guy who was a bully, mm. uh, fourth and fifth grade, and he was about, he had felled a few. He was about three or four, three years at least older than the rest of us. And he picked mm -hmm. on me a lot. And I just, it, obviously, you know, you get to a point where you can't stand the person. Right. Well, um, years later, like, you know, 10 years ago, I was visiting my hometown <clears throat> and I figure since the fourth grade in high school, I have changed in physical experience and it, it, out, my physical appearance has changed considerably. I've gained a lot of weight. I have a lot of hair, <laughs> but walking down the, the two block main street of our hometown, it's a small town. I heard this voice from across the street yelling at me like I was a long lost friend. <laughs> hey, Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee. Who can that be? <clears throat> and I looked and I didn't recognize him. And he finally told me, and he told me, finally said, you know, he said, I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. And I said, oh, it's me, I'm Michael Moore. I said, oh. <laughs> and my, Bully. <laughs> oh, oh, and my me. first experience was, oh, heck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only a little more crude than that. <laughs> And, um, <clears throat> but he engaged me in conversation. Mm. This guy who had flunked grammar school grades multiple times actually had gone on to become reasonably successful in his life. And we had a lovely chat. Oh. And all of that just, cool. you know, I still remember yeah. the being bullied, mm. but mm -hmm. the pain of it was washed away. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. that can happen. That can and happen. I didn't, I didn't tell him, but at that time I forgave him. Wow. We don't get those experiences yeah. often. We don't often have the opportunity for that. A lot of the times, you know, there are other instances where <clears throat> someone has hurt us deeply, either possibly not even intentionally. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, and, and what you're saying is good. These are chemical reactions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're wired that. Yeah. It's part of your survival mechanism, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's how we evolved. <laughs> you know, when the, other, so, when, the, you when know. the other person reaches out and basically is, yeah. Yeah. Has no yeah. malice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well then the, you know, the thread is gone. So your chemistry can change too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, and and you've let go of the desire to be in a controlling relationship, you know, with that person. Mm -hmm. The when I read this particular parable, I think about you know the social structure, especially in Roman culture. I'm less certain about Jewish culture at the time, but it was there was this very strong patronage system. So mm -hmm. this man owed everything to the ruler, right? To his master. He was, he couldn't do anything because he owed that great debt. And um, so in a way, freeing the debt wasn't just a matter of, okay, you don't have to work extra to pay me back, but it was literally freeing someone from enslavement. And so, you know, there was this like hierarchy and the debt that the other servant owed him was still, it was a lot smaller than the other one, but it was still no little deal. It was about a hundred days wages for the average laborer, say. Three months. So, yeah. So this guy who was forgiven by the big cheese wants mm -hmm. to still maintain his medium cheese status, right? Mm -hmm. You owe yeah. me. And so mm -hmm. it's some of it, I think, is all, it's not just about releasing a desire for revenge or, you know, mm -hmm. vengeance, right? Mm -hmm. Or um, making sure that that person's slate is clean in heaven, right? But in some ways, it's about releasing, relinquishing control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's going on. And some scholars actually think that the parable is is not exactly about Peter's original question that was kind of like shoved in there. For some yeah. Reason. 
So, yeah. but but even more about controlling one another. So yes, right. yes. Well, see, the guy maintained his hard heart. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was talking to Ginger. Um, I don't know if everybody would get out of this, what I got out of it, but there was a series a few years ago uh, on TV. It was one of those PBS highfalutin British things. It was really, <laughs> really, really good. Uh, it was called The Jewel and the Crown. It was about the British in India uh, around mm -hmm. the time of World War II. Yeah. And that's a good picture of people being enslaved by history. You know, yes. really, and and the British were the most enslaved of all until they relinquished their control of India. You know, they had to let go of it uh, to be uh, freed of it. And there was a refrain that kept coming through up all every time something hideous would happen. Somebody would say, "There was nothing we could do. There was nothing we could do because they were just enslaved, embedded in their history." And it was out of their control. The history was controlling them. They thought they were controlling things, but they weren't. <laughs> and, uh, and there was one really um, wonderful Christ figure in it. it. It was this woman who had taken an Indian lover. She's a British woman. And uh, she got gang raped by a, a bunch of other Indians. And she got pregnant. She gave birth to the child and died in childbirth. And uh, her act of acceptance, forgiveness, and, you know, uh, testifying, uh, they wanted to blame her lover, you know, for that. And she said, no, he didn't do this, you know. <laughs> uh, but um, they didn't believe her. I don't know why. She was the one who was there. <laughs> but uh, but um, she, her forgiveness was kind of a thread that ran through it. it she disappeared early in the thing, but... Every once in a while, somebody would hark back to her, you know, and and you could kind of feel her spirit wafting through there under the, you know, under the, you know, mm. scene there, you know. And I, I would suggest reading that if you're interested in how, you know, forgiveness is kind of a cosmic and historic thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you get a chance to see that, I would recommend it. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thank you. That's good because the the thing the person I have a problem with, it's our history that I have the problem with, and yeah. I'll tell my daughter something about this person, and she'll go, "How long ago was that? Thirty years, forty years, and you're still worrying it around." And well, I lived in Cyprus. I lived oh. in Cyprus during the some of the troubles, you know, in oh, the sixties yeah. and. You know, people would be mad at each other for things that happened 500, 600 years yeah. ago. You know, and they'd say, well, we owe it to our ancestors. And I think to myself, don't you owe something to your children to give them a peaceful life? Yeah. You know, <laughs> your ancestors are dead. <laughs> what can you do for them? <laughs> you know, whatever. You know, they've got whatever is coming to them. <laughs> so <laughs> what about your kids? But, you know, they back and forth, back and forth, you know, people... Yeah you know, committing these acts of violence, senseless violence, you know? Yeah. Well, these uh, so. these readings brought up something that was interesting and in our, our actually the conversation we're having brought up something interesting for myself, where I had to forgive myself or ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. uh, because um, something, and just totally strange incidents, you know, it doesn't really fit into exactly what, we, what we're talking about, but in, in a way it does. There was a very popular uh, woman in high school. She was our class president. She was very involved with church and organizations, and she had lots and lots of friends. She would always get invited to all the parties, the popular parties and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I was, I, I can't say I was an outcast, but, you know, me and my, me and my friends were the nerds and, and, and you know, we, we were the ones yeah. that, that weren't that popular, had trouble getting dates for the uh, proms and stuff like that. <laughs> and, um, and so, you know, we were some of the outsiders of the, 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 the senior year or whatever. And so about 20 years after high school, 
I saw this woman on the streets of my hometown when I was visiting my parents. And we were, of course, uh, saying, you know, hey, what are you up to? What's going on? And so I told her, oh, my gosh, I've got this great job. I'm learning about this. I'm studying this. I'm playing games with my friends. I just went on a vacation. I, I'm, uh, I'm researching mm -hmm. this. I'm looking forward to, to uh, this career change coming up for me. And I said to her, what's going on for you? And she's like, I don't really do anything. I sit at home and watch TV. Mm. And mm. this feeling inside of me said, yes, I am so, <laughs> I am so much, you know, yeah. she was so popular in high school. Yeah. And now my life is very, very fulfilling and wonderful mm -hmm. at that time. And, and I was like, yes, I, I'm better than her. And, yeah. been, and that's the thought that happened in my head. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, for years, I struggled with this. Why did I think that? Why did I think I'm better than her? Everybody has their own life path. Everybody is valid. Everybody uh, makes choices. Some of the choices bring us in different directions for us for us a while, for a while. But um, everybody's life is important. Why did I feel better than her? And so it, it probably took another 10 years for me to eventually say, to realize that my thoughts that I had were not, um, were, were not, I don't, what, I don't know how to express it. Didn't they you? weren't your adult thoughts. They were your high yeah. school feelings. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. They were, it, I, mean, I, I never thought of it that way. That's a very good point. They weren't image. They were basically immature feelings. They were like that, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know. You understand. So yeah, um, I, understand. I had to forgive myself. I wasn't a bully. But I had mm -hmm. this internal feeling that I was better than another human being, you know. And well, I think that's an impulse we all have. You know, mm -hmm. that's another part of our evolution. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I want I want to get that to eat before you get that. To eat. Yeah. Sort of out of there, yeah. Yeah, you know. So that's that's no sin. It just popped into your head. Right. You know, like, you know, like when I was in the convent, they used to tell us. Um, don't worry about, you know, if some sexy thought pops into your head, just let it pass through like, a, like a, something you smell or a, a sound you hear or something. Right. Just don't worry about it, you know. A <laughs> feeling. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's no sin. It's no sin. It just happened, you know. So it's the same thing with these things. You know, you don't, as long as you don't say, you know, sit there and entertain it, as they used to say, you know. Right, <laughs> like, but I did, you know, I did hold, yeah. thing to her, I did hold yeah. that thought as a burden. It was a burden on me. To, well, to, yeah, to see, that's, in fact, that sounds virtuous to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Not sinful. So, yeah. yeah but it is hard to forgive oneself. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah. I, I think of things people have done to me, but I, I'm not mad at anybody anymore because... Everything that happened in my past has contributed to bringing me to my present. And I'm very pleased with my present. <laughs> so yeah, even good. if somebody wanted to hurt me, they actually did me a solid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, whatever. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's your that's your gift when you get to be really old like me. <laughs> I don't I'm think happy you get too. the really old status quite that way. No. Now I'm like <laughs> <laughs> well, um, should we profess our faith? Okay. All right, let's we profess our faith. We believe, we believe in trust. In trust. <laughs> In one, in God, one the God, Almighty, the Almighty Creator, maker of, maker of the earth, earth and the cosmos, and of, of all that is visible and, and invisible, invisible, known and, and unimaginable. We believe in Christ. Christ. That the Lord Jesus Christ, the firstborn of God, is one in being with Abba, and that through Christ all things were made. We, we believe in Christ. Christ. That for the self. Oh. That for the salvation of us all, he came down from heaven, and that by the power of the Holy Spirit, who is born of the Virgin Mary, and became flesh. We, we believe in Christ. 
that Jesus was crucified for our sake, that under Pontius Pilate he suffered, died and was buried, rising three days later as promised in the Holy Scriptures. We believe in as Christ that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at God's right hand, ready to return in glory. He will judge the living and the dead, and God's reign will have no end. We, we believe, believe in, Christ. in Christ. In the Holy Spirit, the giver of life and inspiration of the prophets, who comes forth from the Father, with the Father and the Son, she is worshipped and glorified. We, we believe, believe in Christ. Christ. In the universal apostolic church, that one baptism washes away our sins and brings us to new life in Christ. We believe, we believe in Christ. In Christ and the promised resurrection of the dead, and our eternal life in the new Jerusalem. Amen. 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 As we are open to the light of the Spirit, let us go where our hearts call us, that we may offer prayers for blessings needed, and give thanks for blessings received. I, I would like to uh, ask for prayers for a friend of mine. Um, uh, she was my friend when I was in grade school. Uh, wow. She was kind of a troubled girl. And she um, ended her life, her own life. Uh, and I had a dream about her last night. Uh, I dreamt that she came to my house in Faribault and asked me for shelter. So mm -hmm. I think we should, maybe if you could all pray for her. Her first name is Mary. Right. <laughs> Mary. Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. 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 I'd like to lift up Ginger. Uh, she still has just, you know, to clear her lungs, uh, clear her mind, clear the path forward, clear her anxiety of these crazy weddings that she has, she's going to. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the gift of this wonderful woman and for all of us in this church and everyone in the world that we can be with each other and experience life together and travel through time uh, with each other, learning from each other, we pray. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, I'd like to pray for the grace for all of us, not just those of us present, but all people and all sentient creatures to take advantage of this enormous gift you gave us that we can break the loop the endless cycle cycles of history that we can forgive that we can move forward in healing and in peace and we pray for this grace for ourselves and for all of our leaders and we ask especially those who our leaders, great and small, government, in culture, and business, and every cluster of people, every family, every coffee clutch, every group of friends, that anyone who has power or resources to share would be generous, compassionate, especially toward the vulnerable among us, and wise and courageous to do what is right, we pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We lift up our sister Patty, we lift up Melissa and Maura and Kate and Lori and Babs and Francis and all those who have worshiped with us but who are not here now, that they would know your physical healing and your spiritual and emotional strength, my Lord, we pray. Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. We praise and thank you for the abundance of your grace, looking to the gathering together of us all in the fullness of the love of Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus told us that before we offer our gifts at the altar, we should make peace with our brothers and sisters. With Christ as the author of all peace, let us offer a sign of Christ's peace to one another. Peace, peace, my love. Peace, my love. Peace.
Peace. Peace to those on Zoom too. Zoom. And, and Twitch. And, oh, I'm sorry, and, and Twitch. That's what Twitch. I thought I was saying. And YouTube. And YouTube. And eventually. YouTube, that's right. Mm -hmm. Your friends on and whatever else. And whatever those people, else. Those people who hallucinate us. <laughs> yeah, that it would be a pleasant. I haven't heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> True. I just think they're hallucinating. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> By the mystery of this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. With hearts lifted high, we offer, we offer thanks, and thanks and praise to you, you living God. In the, the communion of your love, you come, you come close to us, and we come, we come close, close to you. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohim Melech HaOlam HaMotza Lechem Min HaAretz Borefri Hagafen Blessed are you, God of all creation. You can say it too, Tommy. <laughs> Blessed are you, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the harvest of the fields and the fruit of the vine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made into bread and wine. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed are you, O God, you are glorified in your life, life, life in this world. Living God, give us all kindness, source of all love, fountain of all wisdom. You drive our tears and turn our to joy. Blessed are you, O God, you are glorified in this world. You enter the empty places of our hearts and bring your light into our darkness. You take the broken pieces of our lives and restore us to a new creation. You bring you order, order out of chaos, saving, saving us from love. love. The love shown by the cross, the love, love which is with us now, the love, love which is shared with us now, the love which is shared with us now, the love which is shared with us now, the love which is shared with us now. With the holy angels of light and with the whole company of heaven, with those who have gone before us and those who shall come after, with brothers and sisters east and west, and with our loved ones, separate from us now, who yet in this mystery are close to us, we join in the realization of your unending greatness. Holy, holy, holy. 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 God, God of power, God, God of might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are they who come in the name of the Most High. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Abba God, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts and make them holy that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before Christ was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread, gave you thanks, and broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which is now broken and given up for you. Do this in memory of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It is shed for you and for all that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is God. Christ is God. Christ will come again. As we celebrate these holy mysteries, 
May we and all for whom we pray be open to the glory of your presence, the beauty of your song, and the healing power of your love. For without you, we are as nothing, and our lives are empty and dead. By the power of the Holy Sacrament, turn us, we turn to you. In our lives, that we Baba, remember those who take part in the uh, this offering. Remember Joe, our late founding bishop, Kate Ka and Catherine, our bishops, and bishops, clergy, and those in formation everywhere. Remember those who are your people, people and all the ones who seek you in their heart. Remember those who have died in the name of Christ, those who have faith is known to you alone. Remember our friends and loved ones who have passed through the veil. In baptism, they died with Christ. May they also share in Christ's resurrection. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this bread which we break in your name. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this cup which is set before us. May this sacrament be for us the bread of heaven, the cup of salvation. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the unity of the glory of the Lord, and the Jesus taught us to call God our Abba, our loving parent. With confidence, let us pray to God in the way Jesus taught us, as recorded by Matthew and Luke. Our Abba, our Abba, 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 May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us 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 our and free us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the rain, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and Lamb of God, you take, take away the ways of the world. Have mercy on us. Holy God, Lamb of God, grant us forgiveness. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, with your faith, love, and mercy, we trust in the the life of Christ is offered for the life of the world. Here is Christ coming to us in, in bread and wine. This is the, this is the gift of God for the people of God. Jesus, you make us worthy to welcome and receive you. You give us the gift that make us worthy. Our friends with us on Twitch and YouTube, Steve and Francis, Jesse, Lorraine, Dorothy, and all those whose names we don't know, yet you are blessed by the body of Christ who loves you. Amen. of Christ. Amen. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. 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 Amen.
Lord, may we receive these gifts in purity of heart. May they, may they bring, bring us healing and strength, and strength, and strength now and, and for forever. forever. <laughs> the gifts of the universe, oh, in thankfulness, let us offer praise. The, the gifts, gifts of the universe have been given, 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 given to us. The gift of the presence of God. The gift of life have been given to us. The gift of the life of God. So may we and all creation give of ourselves that life may be complete and that we may enter into the fellowship which is both human and divine, temporal and eternal. May we, may we go on our journey in strength and strength of the spirit. spirit. As we, As we have shared share heavenly things, things so, so may we now find that heaven is earthly things. things. Amen. 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 Beloved family, let us ask for God's blessings. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the Prince of Peace to you. May the strength of God guide us this day. May God's power preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the eye of God watch over us, the ear of God hear us, the word of God give gentleness to our speech, and may the hand of God defend us. And may we follow, may we follow the way of God, God, God this day and always. Day and always. And always. Amen. May Abba, our Amen. creator, Jesus, our liberator, and the spirit who is holy, bless, bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. 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 Our celebration, Our celebration is has ended. <laughs> Let us go in peace to love and serve God and one another. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks God. to God. Church. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, when David does the church, we done church. Thank you so much, <laughs> friends on Twitch, for being with us and YouTube as well. It reminds me. We wish you every blessing, and uh, we hope to see you next week.